Wait a sec. Okay. Welcome to Dunder Speed Shop. Today we're going to play with some junk and also a very rare cool sled that sort of looks like junk but really isn't. Yeah. So you can see what we're up to. I think you can see we already got the skid loader set up with the fork extensions. Listen, if you like to play with old dead sleds, <laughs> there's nothing better. Right? You know. These are, this, one of these is definitely dead. Uh, yeah, one of them's <laughs> not coming back. So uh, I think we'll yank that one off the trailer first and we'll give you a look around. We'll decide if we're gonna pull any parts off it. I don't know what we'd pull. Yeah, I don't. Right now, I don't know either. Maybe, maybe um, the rubber straps for the hood. I mean, there's not a lot of good parts left on this thing. We'll maybe even uh, have Lonnie take the camera when I'm on the skid loader and give you the rare under sled view. Oh, hey now. <laughs> All right, we'll get it off the trailer. Here we go. Beauty. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that. I don't know how I'm going to lift that thing. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> yup. That's a lot of, it's pretty front heavy. I'm going to set her down. All right, bring her down. Yeah, not sure there's going to be a whole lot coming off of this one. Although that is a pretty darn good snow slap right there. Look at that thing. Oh, well, how, how'd it look from the underside? <laughs> yeah, it, it looked like a really old junky sled. That's <laughs> Sorry, I'm yelling. I'm trying to talk to Lonnie. Let's grab our beverages. And... Uh, yep, this is... Uh... This one's seen better days. I don't think that one's coming back. I, no. Here you go, Lon. Thank you, sir. So we showed some of this when it came home, but I just noticed something that's absolutely ridiculous. I'm, th I'm thinking that's probably not factory. Uh, yeah, <laughs> nylon rope from the hardware store. Probably worked for a while. I was just gonna say, I bet it. I bet it got it started anyway. The pad's not super nice. It's actually like rock hard and crusty. Ooh. Oh, hey, there's a good throttle. Dog. Throttle block might be worth yeah. grabbing. All right. Oh, maybe the whole handlebars. No. Oh. Oh yeah. It's that... got the old school master. It's rusted. You got to cut that off. But we can do that. Okay. I don't know. Thirty-eight hundred miles. I think we showed them under the hood before, but yeah, we did. And I, I this is this is not going to proceed any further as far as driving on its own. No, this one's pretty much locked up, uh, as far as I know. <laughs> he can't. The pin's locked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it pivots. It probably pivots <laughs> if you get it around the fan. Yeah. So, yeah, she's locked. We checked her before. <laughs> I don't see anything really to save. How'd the track look when it was up in the air? Not, not good. Uh, I'm assuming the skid's rusted, but let me check. Yeah, I got, I got a pretty good shot of that too, but yeah. Let's see, does it move? Oh, it actually moves a little bit. Hmm. But it's a 133. It is, yeah. Uh, I'd say we'll just file this in the pile. For and, now, uh, anyway. And yeah, we can always go out and get the skid later if we need yeah, it. After, if we need it. I just don't, I don't see a heck of a lot going on here that we need. And I do see a lot more mouse nests than I want. Oh my gosh, yeah, this thing is chock full. I mean, yep. maybe we'll... I don't oh, see any walnuts though. Maybe we'll salvage the uh, electric start uh, switch. Let's see. Oh, he, even the uh, fuel shutoff is rusted solid. <laughs> nah, we'll just put it in the woods and remember the switch is out there. Yeah. We'll remember. Sure. Sure we will. Sure. That's looking like a real good spot right there. 
Okay, we got a got a little little Farley, come on. little pile of uh, extra stuff that came off of the uh, deluxe there. I had to clean that off the trailer. Uh, did you pull that thing out of a swamp lawn? I I 100% do not know where. When I got there, he had it in his driveway. Okay. So and he and he actually had to load the thing on from the side of the trailer over here. Because he didn't have fork extensions, so <laughs> that thing looks like it sat in about six inches of water most I'm, of the yeah, time. Yeah, I'm thinking probably for a while. <laughs> All right, good. let's grab this guy. All right, so. Why don't we use the skid steer as a lift? So what do we got going on underneath here? Well, Lonnie got to see the track real good, but I was on the skid steer. So, uh, oh yeah. She's an extra 10, and that's an inch and a quarter by 121 lightning bolt. Lightning bolt, yeah. And it's, uh, you know, the studs are kind of beat on, but, you know, I don't see anything too bad. These kind of torn lugs don't bother me. Um, right. Not on this track. Lon, I don't think you're going to have to spend money on a rip saw this time. Oh, that'd be nice. I mean, this is a great track. I, I think yeah. we, we just put it on and use it. Heck yeah. I, I'm, I'm not opposed. Look at the chassis. It's not all beat up. No, nope, no. Nope. Bottom of that's not, not too bad. Look at how much stud clearance you got to the front cooler. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's a ton of stud clearance right there. Well, I mean, heck, the studs... The studs aren't even as long as the lugs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this thing's not looking too bad. Okay, Farley, not you are too bad. Daisy, you're going to clean it up for us? All right, puppies. All puppies, <laughs> stand back. We're going to tip this back. Okay. Oh, Lonnie, I just noticed something. Yeah. Show them this. You're missing your foxies in here. Oh, yeah. I think we can find some Fox Extra 10 shocks, though. Somebody's replaced these with just, you know, cheap hydraulic shocks. So uh, when we go through the skid, we'll rectify that situation. Yes, we will. I like that plan. Skid doesn't look horrible. Let me flip her up. Okay. And then let's give her a bounce. Come on, Mila. Look out, Mila. Come here. Look out, Camila. There you go. Okay, come on up. All right. Nothing but water in the gas tank. Oh. 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 Skid's not stuck. Those old hydraulic shocks are making some funny They're sounds. making some noise, yeah. <laughs> not bad. You know, we've, we've definitely seen worse. So Denny sent us a, a tank for this thing. It's a black tank, but it'll be awesome. There um, you go. We'll show you that when we get to rebuilding it, but thanks, Denny. Uh, let's see. Let's, we've shown you guys this kind of in depth before, but we're going to open it up because we're going to actually work on it today. Oh yeah, this one, this is the uh, race hood. Oh, this one isn't uh, hinged. Nope, it's not hinged. Oh, this is a yeah. light hood too. Yeah. I mean, this is a lightweight, like somebody bought a lightweight hood, I believe. So yeah, it's fiberglass. Yeah, yeah. Nice. We, we may have to refinish that lightweight hood, Lonnie. So uh, just a quick shout out to, uh, to the guy I got this sled from, uh, Willie over at uh, Andy's Electric in Zimmerman. Uh, had the thing sitting on his back patio. He said it had been sitting there for maybe 10 years. And uh, used the, the story I heard on this was it used to be a race sled. Uh, and apparently the guy that raced it raced Snowcross and was apparently pretty good. Um, so that, that kind of explains the front suspension, uh, the studs, you know, things like that. But uh, I'm mostly excited about this right here. Hey, Lonnie, <laughs> you do got a CDI box. There is a CDI. It, yeah. we, it's, a, it's one of those uh, dreaded uh, Ducatis. Oh, yeah. So, well, that motor is just still, that's just silk. Yeah. That's nice. This clutch looks pretty good. The shafts aren't all rusted up. I mean, despite sitting outside, this thing seems pretty, pretty, like, pretty decent. In pretty decent shape, yeah. Yeah. Yep. 
So uh, we got the, what do we, what do you think that is? An HTG pipe, hot to go? That's, yeah. I mean, it's hard to tell because the part of it's broken off, but you can kind of see the H right there. So yeah, I think that's a HTG pipe on there. Yeah. And then you got your boost bottle, hot seat boost. And then, uh, so. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to, uh, we'll get this, we'll get this engine out and, uh, Let's take a look at uh, like where we're at with everything, see what else we need, you know. Carbs aren't stuck? Nope, carbs aren't stuck. I tried that. Uh, brake lever's not connected right now, so it's... Oh, yeah, we'll have to do a different master yeah, on it. Yeah. Um, I can see the air box is full of mouse house, so that, uh, that that's great. <laughs> but we'll deal with that. Yep. All right, well, what we're going to do today is we're going to get this engine out and pickle it. Yeah. Before the rest of it, obviously, the way it's been stored, it's not going to hurt it to go sit in the woods. But we don't want to come out and find this engine stuck. Exactly. So uh, we're going to get it out and bring it indoors right yep. now. Yep. All right. We're going to show you how to decode the model number, exactly what we're going to do and what we're going to use. But you got to stick around till the end of the video. That's when we're going to show you. So here it is. Oh, oh, did I blur that out? Did I blur that out right there? All right, you stick around to the end and we'll show you what that says and uh, we'll show you a website that you can use that will show you exactly what model it is. Zip ties, but I don't know that I've seen one like that, that where it hooks around this pin right here. Yeah, Lonnie's just noting it's kind of a quick release air box. It's, those are supposed to be um, rubber straps on there, not zip ties, but you know, a guy's gotta do what a guy's gotta do. Right. And then, since this isn't plugged in, you should be able to just lift up the back just and lift it up and uh, pull it off the carbs. Out. Yep. Tilt her out. Yeah, right oh, here, just stick your hand in the mouse nest. Yeah, I was trying not to. Okay, we got some vent. We got yeah, at least got, one vent line. Uh, yep. Hold on. It, oh no, it's a strap. Look at that. Oh. Oh well, it's probably similar, longer, but similar to the other straps. All right. Hey, Dad. There we go. We'll probably store that under the hood when we put the uh, when we put it in the woods. What do we got? We got some nice flat slide carbs. Yeah. Uh, uh, what do they got? They got like aluminum slides or something. Yeah, those. They're not the dreaded green slides, so that's a good thing. Okay. Um. So I'd say the next thing we got to do, Lonnie, get the coolant out of it. Get the coolant out, and then we can unbolt it and hoist it. All right. I like the idea. All right, we're ready to evacuate the coolant, so to speak. Lonnie's <laughs> evacuate. Lonnie's holding that up. <laughs> the coolant level's about right there, so he's holding it yeah. up. So dogs don't get it. We got the hole shoved in there. This thing, people have asked, what is that contraption? Well, it's called the bucket head. You get it at Home Depot. You put it on a five-gallon bucket. The hose seems to fit pretty well with most snowmobile hoses. Are we leaking there, Lon? No, I'm just... Oh, you're blocking the other one. Yeah, just blocking it for vacuum. All right, so the level... The level went from here to here, and it's kind of stalled out, so... So maybe we have to get to it at the bottom end? No, I, I think that's about it. That's damn near a gallon. Man. You know, and okay. it's got the... The cooling system on this is just the two running board coolers and the front tunnel cooler, Lonnie. Okay. So I think it's less volume than, you know, like uh, like an ultra-style system where it's got the big cooler under the seat. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. I don't know. If we spill any, well, we'll we'll clean it up real quick. Yep. Because as you guys can see, we got our helpers out here today. <laughs> helpers helping, helping not help. They're not helping. <laughs> <sighs> well, looks like... Uh, we're just going to clean the carbs. Yup. Yeah, these uh, these are special with a certain amount of uh, mouse ex excrement in them. A little bit, yeah. Why do they seem like they're so small? What is that, a 32? It's flat slides. Those are like 38 millimeter flat slides, I believe, Lonnie. Oh, no and, and a flat slide flows way better than a round slide. Okay. So, uh, no, those are oh, plenty big. I see what you're saying. Yeah, they are flat slide. They're yeah. flat slide. Yeah, yeah, they're flat slide. And then uh, let me bring you up there, and you can see the slide material is not the dreaded green slides that fell apart. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to. I wasn't filming any of that. What? Yeah, all right, so. Oh, yeah, I had it running. Is it running now? Yeah. You see a red light? Yep. All right, technical difficulties. We're coming back. Yeah, so we uh, we did. We knew this was all missing when we uh, when we first looked at it the first time, as you guys recall. There's a recoil. Um, yeah, which actually works. Um, but yeah, so we're uh, we're shopping now, uh, looking for a stator and what else in there? Uh, we need a flywheel and flywheel, a stator. We stator. want to convert it to a Cocosan ignition if we can. Okay. We want a whole setup for a 700 Liberty. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a hold of Eric up at Mohawk Salvage in Hibbing, Hibbing Minnesota. Okay. He's my first call. See what he's got. All right. For this later model stuff. If it was real early stuff, goofy stuff, it'd be Dr. Mario. But right, right. I don't. Don doesn't have anything for stuff this late. Okay. Well, let's get this beast upstairs, and uh, we'll end up pickling it. All right. So we promised we'd show you how we found out exactly what model this is. 098, that means it's a 1998, and then the model number is 1766. So we went to this web page, parts.polarisend.com, browse, browse.asp. And uh, we went to snow, 1998, and then we just did this drop down for the models. And you can just scroll down until you find it. Oh, there it is right away. There it is, it's a 700 XC. All right, on. There you go. So now it's confirmed. It, it, it's confirmed that is actual 700. It XC, is a 700, 700 XC. Right on. It's not a 440 with a 700 <laughs> motor. It is not a 440. <laughs> God bless Marty. He thought he, he kept saying, "Hey, when are you going to come get that 440?" I'm like, "I don't know. I don't know." And then he took the hood off, and I went, "Oh, I'm coming to get that 440 right now." <laughs> there you go, folks. A little better than the 440, although those 440s. I'd love to own one. Those were yeah. awesome sleds. Yeah, that was a good, yeah, it's a good find. Yeah, you know? yep. Price was right. <laughs> Free. <laughs> All right. So that's about it for today. Yeah, I think so. I think we salvaged what we could. Well, uh, what's really important, I think. Well, you know. we're going to salvage the whole sled. I mean, yeah, yeah, but I mean, as far as keeping things uh, from from sitting out in the elements. Yeah, yeah, in in away from the mice. So Lonnie, yeah. he manned that motor up the stairs by himself. <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, we're going to put the carbs, the pipe, the can, whatever else we took off with it. Um, I'm not going to put this upstairs because uh, there's probably still mice living in there. We'll clean that out later. It, that involves the pressure washer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, so as does the rest of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So We don't have details here to help. So <laughs> This thing will become, it'll be coming out of the woods probably mid-August. Yeah. The, yeah. I, I want to make this a fall project, but we got to get done with that RXL first. Yeah, we got, we got projects. We got lots of projects, and I hate to do this, tear it down, and, and throw it in the woods, but right now, that's the way things are going. We haven't got the chassis for the RXL yet. Probably the only thing I could really finish up is the snow jet, and motivation is just low right motivation's now. Motivation's low. It's summertime. We're uh, enjoying the outdoors and uh, yeah, other life. activities, as it were. So we may even take a week or two off of videos. Might have to. You yeah. know. So uh, who knows? So, uh, anyways, we're gonna haul this thing out to the woods. So huge thanks to the patrons. Uh, Thanks, patrons, guys. you guys are the best. You're the only reason we're still making videos and yeah, didn't take absolutely. this month off. <laughs> um, we're doing this for the patrons and, and the rest of you. That's great that you get to watch too. And uh, if you appreciate the videos, please hit subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell so you know when one's coming out. Usually Sunday morning, about 7 p.m. or 7 a.m., I should yeah. say, yep. Central Time. Uh, Otherwise, I guess we'll see you at the swap meets. See you at the swaps.